Now, former Gauteng bookkeeper Lindelani Gumede is, has been sentenced to at least 135 years for all 32 counts of fraud. Now, some sentences will run concurrently, resulting effectively in a 20-year imprisonment sentence. Gumede is accused of defrauding at least 11 million rand in the COVID-19 relief funds. We've got uh, Slindelo Masikane following that story for us. A uh, very good afternoon to you, Slindelo. I mean, it sounds like a very hefty uh, kind of uh, sentence that was handed down today uh, but maybe just give us the details of what happened in court today and some of the reasons that were delivered by the judge Well, we know after a thorough investigation by the Hawks against uh, Lindelani Gumete, he was uh, nabbed for the 32 counts of fraud, uh, which uh, he did under his company. Um, he was a bookkeeper at the time, keeping the books for about four bakeries. He used the information that he had from these four bakeries, um, the employee details, to register them under his company, uh, basically then defrauding the state of the COVID-19 UIF uh, tears that were dispensed during the height uh, of the COVID-19 pandemic to try and mitigate uh, the effects, of course, um, um, on employees uh, who had uh, lost their jobs as a result um, of the pandemic. And so essentially he had benefited around um, 11 million rand um, of that uh, COVID-19 tears. In fact, uh, Gumete this conviction is the first prosecution against uh, the many criminals that actually uh, took advantage of those COVID-19 tears. And uh, this is the first conviction here in Gauteng. And so what we saw today was mitigation and aggravation of, aggravation of sentencing, where we heard uh, what Gumede essentially used the money for, which is, of course, uh, funding a very luxurious lifestyle. He had bought cars, um, he had bought land. And, of course, um, was just having a, a good time with the money, taking trips to um, areas such as Belito in KwaZulu-Natal. And so uh, we did hear from the social worker who had actually compiled a report in terms of his uh, personal circumstances um, and uh, her recommendation. This is what she had to say. A fraudster is an egoistic someone who is intelligent experienced and knowledgeable about controls but has a low person, personal ethics. An egoistic person refers to someone who is driven to succeed at all costs, self-absorbed, self-confident and narcissist. While a low personal ethic person refers to someone who is morally bankrupt and does not see anything wrong in going against the norms of the society. So Runke 2016. This definition fits the accused based solely on his response about how he feels about his actions. He did not even mention how he is accepting of his wrongfulness and the impact caused on the victim. Taking note of all aspects discussed in this report, the recommended sentence is deemed suitable considering that the offense outweighs the accused circumstances. This comes after considering the impact of his actions and how he spent the funds. Furthermore, not much was recovered, and there are no prospects of recovering, recovering more money. Slee, what did his lawyer have to say about what went down in court today? Well, of course, uh, Gumedo's lawyer tried her best, really, to um, tell the court that her client had pleaded guilty, did not waste the court's time, um, that, uh, you know, he should not be given a very hefty sentence because, uh, you know, he has presented himself to the court and admitted guilt. Uh, she did her best to also describe the fact that he had a child that depended on him, but the state was very quick to point out that uh, he was not supporting this child and that, uh, in fact, this child did not live with him, which meant that he was not a, uh, a primary caregiver. So uh, she was doing her best, really, to try and mitigate um, uh, his sentence. Um, let's just take a listen to what she had to say. The accused comes from an impoverished background. Now, as a sole breadwinner in his family, of his family, and at the time of uncertainty, the accused was the accused was unsure of his financial future. And that of his entire family. The accused discovered that the UIF system was flawed as the African 
applications were approved and payments were made without proper verification. At this point, the accused committed the offense and was succumbed to temptation induced by the implied by the implied perception of reality due to the financial distress and fear induced by the social conditions of our country at that time. No doubt, Slinda Lomasikane, the NPA, uh, very, feeling very vindicated in the way the proceedings went today. Uh, did they have anything to say to you? Of course, they've welcomed uh, this sentencing, saying that it's go going to serve as a deterrent um, to others who are thinking of committing such crimes. Also pointing out that, I mean, um, this kind of theft really uh, was quite unnecessary. I mean, that money was supposed to save lives. It was supposed to assist those who were really suffering um, in the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. And they're saying that so they're hoping to be able to prosecute others um, and that uh, a similar sentence will be given to those um, who also committed a similar offence. But let's just take a listen to the magistrate while he was delivering his judgment, um, as well as the NPA reacting. Unashamedly, brazen, inexploiting the weakness of the, of the emergency measures that were put in place. It is acceptable that that was the period itself was that of a state of emergency. Money said to be dispersed, to be disbursed as a matter of urgency. Many people were temporarily halted from continuing with their employment. Had the Department of Labor exercised caution and tried to establish the validity of all the claims, monies would have been paid months and months later, and this would have led many people to suffer. As the NPA, we welcome the sentence. We believe that it is a suitable and just sentence, taking into consideration the seriousness of the offences that were committed by the accused person. Remember that this, this was uh, money that was meant to provide relief to uh, many citizens out there who were left impoverished because of COVID-19. So we believe that um, having stolen money from these coffers left many of our citizens destitute. And um, it then meant that uh, money was diverted away from assisting, uh, uh, from giving much needed assistance to the citizens.